In this lesson, we're going to learn to find equivalent fractions using pictures. Equivalent comes from the word equal, so we're just looking for equal fractions. So let's take these two for example. These are sixths because they are cut into six equal pieces. The bottom one here is fourths or quarters because they're divided into four equal pieces. So to f use the pictures, if we move this one down, we want to look for places where the two lines line up. And if we stop it here, we can see right, the only place, so they, they start at the same length, right? they're both the same length, the only place that the two lines line up is right there. Right? None of the other lines line up. See where the sixth lines are? Here's the sixth line here. Here's a fourth line here. They're not lined up. Here's a sixth line. There's a fourth line. And a sixth line. So they line up there in the middle. Sixth line, fourth line, sixth line, and then at the end is the other fourth line. So the only place they line up is right there in the middle. So how many sixths are there? One, two, three. Three sixths is equal to how many fourths? One, two. Two fourths. So those are equivalent fractions. Let's try another one here with tenths and fifths. So which tenths are equivalent to which fifths? If we move it down, we're going to look again for places where the lines line up. And we can see lines are lining up here, 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 and here. So how many tenths is that? Two tenths is equal to how many fifths? One fifth. If we come to this middle line, we have how many tenths? One, two, three, four tenths is equal to how many fifths? One, two, two fifths. If we come over to this one over here, we have how many tenths? One, two, three, four, five, six, six tenths is equal to one, two, three fifths. And then this last line here, how many tenths? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight tenths is equal to one, two, three, four. Four fifths. So those are all equal. Two tenths equals one fifth. Four tenths equals two fifths, and so on. All right, let's look at one more. Here we have fourths and halves, or quarters and halves. So where are they going to line up? You can probably already see it, can't you? So when we move it down, they line up here. So how many fourths is that? Two fourths equals only one half. If you see that with the pictures, you're well on your way to being able to find equivalent fractions. And in a later lesson, we'll see how to do it without the pictures and just by using math. And for that, you're going to have to learn to you're going to have to know your multiplication facts and your division facts. So if you understand this now, you're well on your way to being able to find equivalent fractions with pictures.